Hi everyone, welcome back. Over the next three videos, we're gonna explore the beautiful island of Koz. I'm gonna take you to some beautiful beaches, some beautiful bars, some beautiful places, and we're gonna start the tour in Koz Town. If you're brand new here, please make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. So this morning I've gone for a light breakfast, cappuccino, and the biggest pan de chocolat you have ever seen. Look at the size of that. But a nice view though. So we're gonna walk into the historic town center, which is well signposted. I'm actually walking on the um, the cycle route at the moment. I better, be I better move over because people get very annoyed. Absolutely gorgeous day. Look at those palm trees. Very swish bar right over there. So over there in the distance you can see the castle and I'd love to show you in there but a couple of years ago they had um, a pretty bad earthquake here which has made it unstable so we actually can't go in there. But what we are going to do is walk around Cod's town which is going to walk around the corner there and then walk along the waterfront. So you've got these little info maps, you can see where we are just here on the harbour. This is the castle. We are just going to be walking along the harbour bit here um, and checking out some of these lovely little side streets which is what I absolutely love in Greece. So let's go for a walk. It is a little bit windy today so just excuse the wind. And most of you will know if you've been to Kos before the entrance to the, uh, the harbour with this archway. You'll also know how loud the crickets are during the day as well. Lovely flowers. So there's the castle there. Now obviously I've come away in the middle of a pandemic um, and a lot of people have been nervous about coming away with coronavirus but uh, I have to say here in Greece you know people are wearing face masks in the restaurants and obviously in closed places but you know most of the time you're outside and social distancing doesn't seem to be a problem at all. So up here is a great place to come of an evening and uh, check out some restaurants or go and have a coffee. It's going to be a little bit windy up here along the waterfront. So just walking along the waterfront here, absolutely idyllic. There's not many boats in the harbour at the moment. Most of them have gone out during the day. There's a train you can catch as well, which will take you on a little bit of a tour of all the historical sites, which we're gonna see in just a few minutes. But I thought I would just walk along the waterfront, show you some really beautiful places that you could go and eat and have a drink and coffee and tea and beer, um, maybe in the morning or in the afternoon. And it's also a great place to come and have a fresh morning walk like I'm doing right now. So I love walking along this part of the waterfront. Um, there's loads of places to grab um, some breakfast. Oh, blimey, that was close. <laughs> I'm walking too close to this bike path. Um, yeah, so check out some of these side streets, which we're gonna do a little bit later, which will lead us on to some of the historical parts of Cos, which is why it is so famous. Just want to quickly show you something very authentically Greek. This is a great place to have a photo actually. As you can see there will be people here already having photos taken. Sitting on the chairs that I was just about to go and show you. 
hopefully they won't mind but we'll walk up these stairs because it is so pretty as you can see a lot of people take their photos here And the sun's not up here yet, it's in the shade, but when the sun's out, it looks so pretty. Great place to come for some food as well. How pretty that is. It's going to cross the road. Boat trip, anyone? This is where people will stop you to go on day trips, sunset cruises. that house has seen better days I mean it is like from a film set look at that take it nobody lives there that's what I love about the Mediterranean Greece these flowers I actually tried to um, I saw some of these being sold outside Tesco and you'll laugh but they were um, and I put them in my garden and they died within a few days. They obviously need warm, dry weather. So, you'll see a lot of these around Greece. I think they're almost like little shrines to people that have passed away. And you can see photos in there and uh, little flowers. But you'll see these dotted around everywhere. I love walking around these back streets. Great little shops that you can go into. Grab a coffee, and then up here is, um, I believe, a fairly big square. So just away from the harbour, if you come down this road, you'll get to this really lovely square here, which is a great place to come and eat at night. It's really pretty up here as well. In fact, they used to have a webcam somewhere around here because I always used to check it out, but um, it's a really nice uh, place to come and have some food of an evening. 
And there's also a great indoor market here as well. There's more of these natural sponges as well. Literally, they come in so many different sizes. Look at that. And if you've ever been diving off the Aegean, you'll see these naturally. So I found the outside gymnasium, auditorium, as they call it. Obviously because of coronavirus, this is actually currently closed, so we can't even walk around it. But um, yeah, definitely worth checking out. I was just told that these used to stand just like they did, and the recent earthquake knocked them over. So a piece of history down on the ground. You'll find these all over Cos, these ruins. As you can see, this site is pretty massive, but mostly in ruins, but it's worth coming having a look. Just notice these flowers. Look at that. How pretty is that? So literally across the road, we come to this very impressive outside amphitheatre. Let's go and check it out. Hopefully you can hear me, the crickets during the day. In fact, actually they get louder as lunchtime approaches. But this is worth coming to take a look. You know, back in the day, these were everywhere outside events and so forth. You can see the stage there. Let's just have a walk up. This is what people would have been entertained to. Most of this is still standing. I think they've been doing some work recently though. Let's go and give it another view from up top. So you go up the stairs and you find somewhere to sit. And then you watch the show. And um, is this changing rooms? I know, it's not a change of rooms, but um, I have no idea what's what's in here. Oh, there's something, because there's a TV there. Interesting. Can't get in there though, it's locked. So there is more evidence of the earthquake that happened here a few years ago. This church has been pretty much ruined, which is so sad. You see around the side of it. So it's it's closed and just to prove. See this little building come in. Light a candle, I think. So I know it sounds stupid, but when you walk around Cos, you hear the noise of the crickets, and sometimes they are so loud. And I've... Um, I came across this tree and I was like, I can hear one and I can see it just there, making all that racket. And bearing in mind, that's just one of them. So you can imagine a whole tree full of them. Oh, 
pub is just down there and um, this is why I say it's always good to have a walk around Cos because there's so much history here. This is the smallest church I've seen and I believe it dates back to the 15th century. It's just, I just love walking around back streets and finding places like this. Look at the doors. Some details about it here, I believe. 15th century, 1522, this was built. Wonder how many marriages were in there. So this is the entrance to the castle, which unfortunately is closed at the moment. It's that little bridge that um, I walked under. Such a shame because it is so beautiful in here. I don't think it's going to be open for a while. The earthquake happened in 2017. So I love checking out traditional Greek restaurants whilst here in Greece and just come across this place, all these little lamps hanging down from the trees, looks really nice. Let's go and find a table, well there's a lot of tables to choose from, look how pretty this is, I can still hear the crickets. Hello. Well, it goes further down there. When I came here, I didn't look at the prices. They're quite pricey. Most expensive thing I've found on the menu is 43 euros. That's mixed fish for two people. So that's about what? 21 pound 50 each. I guess that's not too bad. So just listen to those crickets. I mean, I thought they were loud during the day. <laughs> Even louder at night. These are louder than the ones in the countryside. And a small carafe of white wine goes down a treat. The worst kind of cockroach, it's got wings and they fly. <gasps> I've never seen a cockroach in Greece. In the Canary Islands, I see them everywhere. This one flies, I hate it. Look, there's a cat, get it. Get it. No, don't lick yourself, get the cockroach. You can see all the boats in the harbour at night, they look so pretty and this particular boat Hello, coming up... Hello, Hello. good evening! <laughs> now this particular boat is pretty incredible. I mean look at that! That is so cool. So this is part of the three island cruise. They all offer three island cruises, but it's just, which one do you go on? We'll have to find out. So thanks so much for watching this video. As always, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a share if you know someone who loves coming to Cos in Greece. And there is plenty more to see. I'm so excited to show you plenty more next week. Obviously, if you're watching this beforehand, you can see in the top right-hand corner the next video. Until then, don't forget to hit subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you next time.